Mayor Curry's budget plan for next year will face a lot of challenges given the pandemic and social unrest. The $1.3 billion spending plan does not call for a tax increase, but it does include money for public safety upgrades for both the police and the fire departments. It also includes new money for Northwest Jacksonville. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott is joining us live from City Hall. He's been digging into the story behind the dollars and has been talking with council members who warn raising taxes might become necessary. Jim? You know, Tom, a lot of times you would have all types of talk right before a budget is presented. That didn't happen here. It was actually kind of an uneventful presentation. But council members are talking now, and they have lots of questions for the mayor, particularly about those projects that hadn't been funded in the past. And I can tell you this area has been neglected. James Evan Muhammad was glad to hear Mayor Curry and City Council are now focusing $100 million of the budget on Northwest Jacksonville. He's lived here most of his life, and he says this area has been neglected. There's not a commercial attraction to this community. People are moving out, uh, young people who are getting educated are moving out of this community. They see the community as a sore eye. They don't see an opportunity over here. This is the only grocery store within a five-mile radius. Brenda Priestley-Jackson, who represents the area, is also a co-chair for the Social Justice Commission. She says the budget is very vague about what projects will be pursued. We often hear the word infrastructure, which includes drainage, sewage, roads, and sidewalks. I asked her today about the budget and the cost. Do you think that this budget, when you guys get through with this, would include maybe a possible tax increase or fee increase to take care of some of these issues that need to be addressed? I think it's a real possibility. I mean, this, this blanket assertion that we're not going to have any new taxes in the middle of a pandemic recession, layered on top of unfulfilled promises of well over, what, almost 60 years now, right? That doesn't seem like, to me, uh, an open and engaging um, way to approach this. I don't know. Mayor Curry isn't proposing a tax or fee increase, but he knows that we're facing a very tough time ahead. Despite the many challenges this year has brought us, I still have abundant optimism and faith in the people of this city. In the summer, they do debate uh, the budget here, and it's usually a lively debate, but given that everything's basically going to be virtual, it could be interesting to see what we end up with and where all of this money is going to go. In fact, today, Mayor Curry wasn't taking any questions from council members or the media. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.